So I'm going to give you a little information about history and what we're up against and how we need to be in this battle. So the Birmingham movements happened in Alabama and lasted 37 days. The Greensboro sittings, six months. The Freedom Rides, I'm sure you guys all watch Freedom Riders, you know a little bit about the story, but they were actually risking their life going state to state protesting, getting bombed on those buses, and lasted for a total of seven months. Lastly, we got the bus boycott. Started with Rosa Parks. That movement there lasted 367 days. It's more than a year. So don't, no, 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 don't clap for me. I want in a few weeks, a few years, for us to all be able to clap together. What needs to happen is we need to continue to fight. We need to continue to be proactive. I see plenty of children here in this community, plenty of them. It's our responsibilities as adults, as teens, as leaders, as officials in this community to not only be proactive, but to, to hold people accountable. That's big. That's what our community is going to be about. When things do happen, because we can't, as much as I'd like to live in fairy tale land and everything be in perfect harmony, that's not how the world works. But again, taking proactive action, our committee will be specifically there to hold people accountable when things do happen. So we do have some more protection coming our way. That's that another win for us. So my challenge for everyone here today, after we all stand up and we march back unified, is tomorrow when you wake up, to feel the same way. Next month when you wake up, feel the same way. Next year when you wake up, feel the same way. That's the only way things get better. We got a, we got a lot of work to do. The world's in shambles. Half the world's on fire, and I guess half of it's cool. I guess. We got a lot of work to do, and us here together, that's standing here, we owe it. I want to be the beacon of the world, the beacon for changing the world in this community here. We're only 100,000 strong, but I believe in us. I believe in every single person here that we can really do that. Yeah. Lastly here, I'm gonna, give you, I'm gonna give you a quote from Malcolm X, one of my favorite leaders. And this is just to speak to accountability and speak to actual the healing that we need. We've thrown too many blankets over our problems as people. We don't need to throw blankets no more, we need healing. Now the quote is, if you stick a knife in my back, the knife nine inches long, if you stick that knife in my back, you pull it out three inches, is that progress? You pull that knife out six inches, is that progress? You can pull the knife all the way out, is that progress? Progress does not begin until the wound is healed. Everybody, I thank you again. We're gonna give ourselves a round of applause and we're gonna march back as a community.